Glad to see you made it, Chilbert. Thanks to Sigurd. He was a good guide in even better company. He told me some incredible stories. The best ones were about you. Hopefully nothing too embarrassing. There were a few gems. Not to interrupt, Davor, but what of Lit Chestershire? The Alliance is one. The sons of Ragnar are friends to our clan. Glad to hear it. Well done to you both. Eivor, a word of note. Someone has set up shop outside. A trader, I believe. When you can, ask him his business here. He seems to represent a larger guild. The child's eyes, or the eyeless children? Eyeless children? No, that cannot be right. Ask him yourself. long in England, have you? I see by this map you've barely arrived. I wonder if Volker is among them. Wessex untouched? Northumbria barren? You still have much to see. Yes, it is a work in progress. If you've a moment to spare... Customer. Whether I am or not, I am the one you'll speak with. Randry tells me you are merchants. Ah, hello, hello! Are you the leader of this bustling encampment? We come on behalf of a thousand eyes, vendors of uncommon goods and exotic treasures from all corners of the world. If you need it, we have it. If we don't have it, you don't need it. Such is our pledge. I see. And is this child with you? Child? Child. My friend, you look upon the master of the thousand eyes, the head of our guild. A legend, a hero of the people, and the richest merchant west of the Indus, you look upon Redda! He means you? He does, Eivor Wolfkist. It is a pleasure to meet you at last. How have you come to know me? The Thousand Eyes have one thousand years as well, and word travels fast. And what is it I can do for you, or you for me? It's quite simple. For a fee, I can connect you to a shadow market that stretches from the dunes of Egypt to the moors of England. What sort of fee? It varies with the item, but there is a small hitch. Through this market, all prices are paid in opal. Interesting. What a strange color it has. May I hold it? You may hold it and keep it, Eivor. A gift from Reda for your immeasurable hospitality. Now look here. Browse what wares I have on offer. For now, no matter. My selection changes daily. You will soon find something you like. Now that you are friends with me, you are also a friend of the Thousand Eyes as well. And what does this mean? Observe my outfit, not the scarf I wear. As you travel, you will meet many of my associates clad in these same vestments. These are my people. My other will earn a tidy sum. 
And I might even feel inclined to reward you myself. An interesting offer. Good to hear. Now, if you'll excuse us, my apprentice has a tent to secure. You're staying for a while, I suppose. Oh, yes, and you needn't even thank me. We would be honored to call this our home. Good day. Eivor, what a pleasure to see you. Oh dear, it feels like it's been so long. Valka, my friend. You are most welcome here. Are you well? Better than well. I am present. And your mother? My mother has found her peace at last. She walks through a world seen only in dreams and will forevermore. That is all any of us can hope for. Indeed. Come. How was your passage? Exhilarating. The waves and the wind were with us from the start. We flew like seabirds. And how are you? In spite of your stoic look, there is a brightness in your eyes that warms me. It may be a kind of hope. A settlement is growing. The people are happy and I am... Looking forward to more. And your visions? They come and go. But leave all that aside. Let me help you with your things. This way. We found a fine spot for you at the foot of the hill. Hmm. Every hour we traveled, I tried to conjure in my mind some vision of this place. And how close were you? I saw the trees, and the water, and the rolling hill. But I could not foresee so much green. It is a magnificent and calming color. A balm for sea salted ice. Volka! God, Sevo! What brings you? Hope there isn't a curse on the settlement or some such. The only curse on this place is their great lout of a blacksmith. It is a rare feeling to travel across the sea and still find oneself at home. This place feels powerful, alive. Do you foresee great things for us? No need for foresight. I feel it in my heart. Valka, I see. What took you so long to follow? Wanted to ensure the place was up to snuff. We must talk again soon, Randvi, once I'm settled. And before my arms fall off, what is this I'm carrying? My heaviest reagents, of course. Lead, whalebone, flax of gold. Put this one to honest work. That is what I like to see. All these people you have brought here. This life you have built on these stranger shores. 
Does it please you? It does. To know that I've built this place and kept these people safe is a gift. You speak first of yourself when I ask this question. Which says more than you intend, I think. Salve, Eivor. Ad Meliora. Good day. And who is that fellow? I have no idea. Well, the town must be bustling. You see there? Your home is just ahead. Tell me about your visions. They are as they have always been. Little has changed, save their clarity. With every return, the things I see feel less like dreams and more like memories. And does the old father still appear before you? From time to time, yes. He speaks to me as well, but... I feel mad to say such things aloud. I understand. You can put those just there. Thank you. And here we are. Lovely. Just as you promised. As soon as I am set up here, we can return to the matter of your visions. Valka, please. You are touched, Eivor. A conduit for godly tidings. Please, let me help. I may know a way to clarify these visions. An elixir that may open the door of your mind into the realm of the gods. If you think it would help, I can finish your home myself. Only give me some time. I would be grateful. Thank you, Eivor. Of course. And welcome home. Good to see you. <gasps> Word of our growing settlement has reached outside ears, so have a look around. You may see a few new faces. I want to see the Alliance. Tell me about Grandebritshire. A force of Danes, called a summer army by the Saxons, is camped north of Grandebridge at some ruins across the river. We should curry favor with their leaders, Guthrum and Soma, if we hope to win their trust and allegiance. My scouts did not meet them in person, so I can say little for the state of their army. Consider this a starting point. We'll leave right away. Good. And may the blessings of Freya follow. Rest assured, Eivor, the settlement is in safe hands.
I should go.